This episode is brought to you by SBO eConnect, e-commerce connector add-on for SAP Business One. Rakesh and I'm from SPU eConnect team. Uh, I would like to uh, tell you something today uh, regarding uh, the VAMP server uh, installation uh, and the Magento Commerce installation on the VAMP server. Uh, during the time of my some of my R&D, I face uh, a few problems that when I try to install uh, Magento Commerce on uh, on my laptop uh, through a VAMP server on, on top of the VAMP server. Uh, so some uh, time uh, time execution problem uh, has come so uh, after a few rnds we sort out this problem and uh, i would like to share this uh, problem and uh, the solution for that problem so what i did is first of all i go into vamserver.com and then um, i i browse the site and i go into the vam site and there uh, i can i can i can find one link that's called download and from there i download uh, the vam server details from here and uh, here is the vam server details uh, basically this is this is coming in a, a different language so we can easily change the language from here now it's in english so uh, from the download section uh, i can i can download the vamp latest version 2.0.i uh, 2.0i and uh, after after the download i got uh, this uh, vamp installation file and i installed the vamp server in my uh, machine so here here you can see that vamp server is installed um, and the server is online and after that what i did is i go into magentocommerce.com and i download the magento community edition it's a freely uh, the magento community edition is free and i download the 1.4.01 version i download it in a zip dot uh, zip format and i got this file uh, magento dash uh, 1.4.0.1 and i extract this file uh, here at the same location i don't want to show the extract file right now so let me extract it Now I extract the files and uh, I got a fold. I I got the folder uh, Magento uh, dash one point four point zero one one, and inside that I got another folder called Magento. So I'll just copy this folder and I'll come to my VAMP installed area, the C drive VAMP www mm, and have already another one so i just rename it and i now after copy the file into magento uh, means after copy the file magento file into the www directory and now i'll open uh, localhost and i can see uh magento folder is my project and it's it's showing here so if i click here i can get the magento installation uh screen uh, installation wizard so before that i need to create one d database so what i'll do will, is i create one database from php my admin let me give the name is magento test and now create the database now you can see database magento uh, has been created has been created now i go back to the magento installation and i click on the i agree button then i click on continue 
uh, now the next uh, it's asking for setting my location I'll keep it as it is right now uh, then I have to put my database name so magento test is my database um, and this is a root the password and table prefix whatever is there I'll keep it as it is now I can leave this use web server Apache rewrite and I leave the other session storage as it is now I click on continue now let's see what exactly the problem uh, we should get because in this particular time I got uh, a problem and um, that problem is basically you will see here if I click on uh, the continue and still it's progressing I have not done anything with my uh, default installation of uh, VAM where um, I have not changed anything but see we got an error called fatal error maximum execution time of three uh, of 30 seconds exceed so now how I will overcome this and how I can I can rectify this problem uh, so that I can uh, smoothly install Magento in my uh, local system first of all uh, I'll go in the right side area where the VAMP, uh, VAMP uh, server icon is there. I'll click that icon and I'll go to PHP and I'll click on php.ini file. Oh. And that basis actually the php.ini file will open. Now I'll, lo I'll, I'll locate uh, I'll locate one uh, area that uh, I, I look at the code where it is written maximum execution time so let me find it where is maximum execution time that's 60 I'll change it to 1800 and another is uh, that below I have another is that's called maximum input time one is maximum execution time and on, another is maximum input time it's now three now 30 i'll change it also in 1800 so i just make these two changes one is maximum input time another is maximum execution time and i save my php file php.ini file and i close it again i'll open uh, my vamp server uh, and i restart all the services i'll restart all the services now I can see that you know, my VAMP server is now online. So what I'll do, I'll now I uh, go back to my uh, local host and I try to find my project Magento and I click it. Now I got the uh, Magento installation wizard. Now let's continue it. With the previous process, same as it is. The localization part I'll keep and give that database name magento store test uh, I'll keep the other part as it is I'll continue it again I just click on the web server Apache rewrite because my web server is configured in accordingly now uh, we'll look for some time to installation of the database And now I can see I have not got any, I have not received any error. And now I can easily install uh, the Magento in my local server, means on top of the VAM. So let's click on continue. I got the uh, details uh, that you are all set. Now my Magento is installed. It's asking to go to front end. I can see that Magento is properly installed in the localhost slash front slash Magento. And also, if I uh, click on the go back end, I can also see the back end. So that's all. Uh, this is the way actually we can install Magento Commerce on uh, VAMP server in localhost.
Thank you for watching this video.